Okay, all right, so... Um, Yo, let me hold it. I don't think it's safe for you to hold it while you're driving, <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> Mike, can you get my tennis ball, please? Where? It's in my backpack. On the side of my backpack. <laughs> Brian, dude! <laughs> Do you have any uh, A-Pink? Yeah, the U song. Okay, so right now we are parked at Albertsons in Campus Plaza. It's like half a mile away from the Ark. <laughs> it's because we don't have parking passes, that's it. If you're a student, you, get, you buy you a gotta, parking pass. Or you gotta pay for parking. Or you gotta pay like two, two bucks an hour or something like that. To Asians, that is completely unacceptable. <laughs> Beg our way into the Ark. <laughs> Look, see? So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna sit by those stairs right there. We're gonna sit by those stairs right there until someone comes by and we have to ask them, hey, like, are you a student here? Would you, have, would you be able to sponsor us into the gym? And then we have to make up some bullcrap excuse like, oh, we're supposed to go in with our friend, but they, our friends, but they left us, so now we gotta like, <laughs> find our own way in. And we gotta pay five bucks. So here we are. Uh, <laughs> we're waiting to find someone to uh, sponsor us in. We might have to go in one by one. You. Okay, thank you. Oh, wait, can you sponsor me? <laughs> oh, yay! Thank you. Wait, are you sitting here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, I'll just. She's cute. Oh, <laughs> so we finally made it into the arc. Here is the sports center. Yeah. I don't it's know. Nice it's, it's a nice place. It's a nice place. I guess I'll be leading today's practice. Okay, I'm just gonna give you guys a warning beforehand. Our training regimen's usually based highly off martial arts movies, so we will apologize beforehand if it seems like you guys will be watching a load of crap. Um, today, we'll do a little bit of uh, Honga basics. We'll warm up together, of course, we'll stretch, do some Honga basics, practice our individual forms, and then after that, we'll do some kicks, and then I guess towards the end, we'll do some fight choreo. And we just did warm ups. Yeah. Maybe I should get that fixed one day. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yo, I'm pretty good to go. Are you guys ready to go? I think what's cool about martial arts is that, you know, um, I think it's important to be open-minded. So there's no like one way to do honka or do like any martial arts, you know? It's actually up to the individual and how we perceive it. And uh, that's what makes it special for, you know, each of us as individuals. We use basics that we learn from other martial arts styles. So like we go in with a sound martial logic. Like the structure actually comes from somewhere rather than just emulating it with our eyes. We pay respect to the source material. We know that we're practicing a storied martial art with its own tradition, with its own values. And even though we don't have a sifu to teach us what all those values are, we try to seek them out. If we're doing it wrong, to any of you Hongga enthusiasts, feel free to let us know. We're not trying to disrespect your style. I think it's important as martial artists to be able to push yourself where you can't physically go anymore. But you have your spirit, and don't let anything break that. Because if you let something, if something breaks that, then you're done. You know. Rolling and action.
to sum up today's training, what are you going to say? Coordination and accuracy is like really hard. You think like Coach. that it Coach. comes natural to a martial artist, but it really doesn't. You, you really do have to like lock in on that area of training in order to get good at it. You think you, you, you start to like slip into letting yourself think that you're like at least decent at kicking, but then you find out you're really not. Yeah. So like it really teaches you humility as well as all the other stuff. It's like a love-hate relationship. I really like kicks. I think they're super cool, but like it's so difficult. I have like an ideal way how I want to do it, but it's not. It's nowhere near there yet. Brian, why are you so fat? <laughs> At the end of the day, you must let go of all earthly attachments because you may have everything, but in the end, there is nothing. Why are you wearing clothes? Not because I have everything, but in the end, there is nothing. You didn't hear what I said. <laughs> so, and he actually needs to not wear clothes. Hey, what? You may think I'm wearing clothes, but in here, I mean, I'm not. But whose body is this? My, this is my physical body and my own spirit. I say I'm not wearing clothes, I'm not wearing clothes. You may think I'm wearing clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're post training meal. We are at Chipotle. Before, after, done. And then, and when I got home, I had chikorita, <laughs> diarrhea. I'm like, you had diarrhea too. I'm like, what do you know about protein? You tell me about protein. Oh, that's that's bro. look at my stretch marks, dude. Look at that, dude. A tiger clawed the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> this, this is real protein. <laughs> oh! We just got done with lunch. Got back in the car. We realized our essence has this been stewing. This car stinks, yo. Ew, this car stinks. It's been uh, marinating in our essence. It now, stinks. It smells like the open here, dog. Yeah. Yeah. So I just wanted to share that with you. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm sure. Oh no, are you recording? <laughs>